All right, thanks for tuning in everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Go ahead and check me out on anthonysmoke.com. Definitely hit subscribe here on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter at Anthony Smoke and make sure you leave a comment, hit that like button and ring the bell so you get a notification when I drop a new video. So today I'm gonna to be talking about uh, how to start making your uh, your Tableau resume, posting it to, uh, to Tableau Public. So uh, I wanna show you four things in this video. I wanna show you where you can go for inspiration, right? I'll show you where I went uh, to get a good feel for all the, the Tableau resumes uh, that are out there. And I think it's a good idea, you know, Tableau resume is a good starter project because you have all the data you know, the data is inherently about you, so you have the data. Uh, you just may need some uh, some inspiration on, on where to start and, and a couple of guidelines. So that's what I hope to give you. So uh, we'll go behind the scenes of my Tableau uh, resume. Um, I'll show you how I structured the data, right? So even though you may have the data, you may need some help on, on how to structure it and bring it into Tableau. And then I'll show you how to build out uh, a couple of charts to get you started on your way. So the name of the game today is Tableau Resumes. It's a good starter viz. We're always looking for that, that next project or that next viz to bring into Tableau Public. So this will be a good project for you. So stick around. Okay, so I wanted to start out this video showing you where I went to get uh, inspired, find some ideas for my resume. So I went out to the interactive resume gallery. You can see the link here, um, it's on Tableau uh, Public. And I just kind of looked through the resumes here, seeing what was common uh, in, in, these, um, uh, in these resumes. And so I saw, okay, we got some charts. I see some, um, you know, I see some Gantt charts here. I see uh, abacus charts, you know, timelines. Timelines seem to be very popular. Okay, I need a timeline. I'm seeing abacus charts. Okay, and so I just kind of looked through and, and said, all right, what do I need uh, to put a resume together? And it looked like I needed some sort of timeline and uh, at a minimum uh, abacus charts, right? So you can see that's a, that's a popular theme as you scroll through here. And so I really liked uh, Ann Jackson's uh, resume. It's got the abacus charts. It's got some sort of timeline. So, you know, I kind of started with her resume as uh, my my main uh, my main inspiration. So, again, just kept looking through. I liked Lindsay Betzendahl's resume as well. There were some um, uh, there was a technique that she had in hers where she put some uh, some visuals and tool tips that I liked. So again, just the data fam has some good resumes out here. Just go through, get inspired, uh, and you know, take some ideas and incorporate them into your final product. Remember, uh, every resume is going to be unique. No one has your uh, unique blend of experiences, and so every visual is going to look uh, different. So this is where I started. Start by going out here to the interactive resume gallery on, on Tableau Public, so you'll find some, some good stuff. And so while you're out here at, at Tableau Public, you can always go to my profile, Anthony Smoke, and you'll see, right, I have uh, some, some business dashboards out here, but this is my resume, Anthony Smoke Tableau resume. I'm going to open this up in, uh, in actual Tableau and we'll take a look, but just wanted to show you if you wanted to interact uh, with my resume, where you could go. But let's open up Tableau. I have actual Tableau here. All right, and you know, I'll give you a behind the scenes of my resume. Uh, you can see I have up here, this is a, this is a graphic with my logo and my name. Uh, I have some, some icons here, and so if you click on any of these, it's gonna take you to, uh, this takes you to LinkedIn, right? This is my LinkedIn page. And if we go back, right, all of these links work. This will take you to my blog, my Tableau public page, so on and so forth. Uh, these are certifications that I have. Again, you see the um, the abacus charts here, one with the skill level. And I'll show you how to build out uh, an abacus chart. It's not not very difficult, but I'll show you how to build that out. Uh, I've got my skill levels, uh, you know, subjective, right? So uh, I'm saying that in SQL, I'm a skill level five, and in Tableau Desktop, I'm also a skill level five, so on and so forth. My LinkedIn endorsement. So I just went to my LinkedIn page and said, hey, how many endorsements do I have? 
on each one of these elements in uh, business intelligence. I have 51, so okay. Uh, we'll use that as the maximum value. Uh, this is a technique, again, that I, I saw on Lindsay Betzendahl's resume. I really like this, where you can uh, show a, uh, a visual on the tool tip, right? So if I keep moving down here, um, you'll see that the visual changes. And if you want to know more, I'm not going to go over this, but if you want to know more, I believe Ryan Sleeper has an article on this, how to add an image to a tool tip. Uh, if you Google that, uh, along with uh, Ryan Sleeper, that should come up. I didn't use his technique. I, I literally just reverse engineered <laughs> uh, Lindsay Betzendahl's uh, resume to, to figure it out. But uh, if, if I do click on one of these, let's say I click on this, it's going to bring me to my Tableau public page and it's going to bring up um, this, uh, this training dashboard. Uh, check out this video on my YouTube page uh, where I talk about this dashboard. But uh, let's go back. You see, I've got the uh, the timeline here, uh, along with some some icons that that I put in here. Uh, started out as a data analyst, uh, had a, a self-employed period here. Went back to graduate school, uh, survived two stepping stone positions until I got to a uh, uh, a really good first class organization here, where I've been uh, for since uh, 2015. Uh, showing my my YouTube videos here. So you can start it, I uh, started back in 2016 and uh, the gold represents Tableau. You see I have a sprinkling of, of other uh, types of uh, videos in here as well, but you know, that's a cool uh, kind of use of this space. And then showing my YouTube channel growth, uh, hardly anyone watching in uh, 2016, 221 views. And to be fair, I started uh, maybe in December of, uh, of 2016. But uh, you can see that that growth over the year, which is really cool. And at the end of the year, I'll put in 2021. So uh, we can go behind the scenes here if you just want to see how this is laid out. Um, I really like to keep my my item hierarchy clean. So you'll see here. Right. A, a lot of things are floating. Uh, these are floating on my abacus chart. I don't have these on the chart. They are uh, floating items. And as you can see, I have one huge vertical. And then I've got a horizontal up top, another horizontal. All these are horizontals, right? I like to keep it clean. You don't see any tiled. It's all horizontals that I'm throwing things in. So here at the bottom, you can see I've got the timeline and the growth, right? So I like to keep my horizontals very clean. So this is kind of a, a behind the scenes look at my uh, resume. So now let's take a look and see how I structured the data um, for, the, for the skill levels here and for the uh, endorsements and the timeline. Okay, for the purposes of the charts, I'm going to show you how to build out um, this first tab in Excel. I just created an Excel sheet and I call this first tab work. And, you know, this is my, my experiences. And I just put an order in here, you know, one through uh, whatever, however many. Uh, the experience type, whether it's education or work. Uh, the organization, you know, uh, this is school, Clark Atlanta, shout out to Clark Atlanta University, HBCU here uh, in Atlanta, uh, without uh, CAU, um, I never would have had the opportunity to become a data professional. So big shout out to Clark Atlanta University, big shout out to General Motors as well, my first job after school. Anyway, shout out, shouts out to uh, uh, all my schools and all my organizations, but you can see you need a column for that. Um, you need a uh, title, so I'm just saying student data analyst, self-employed, graduate student. And then very important here, you need the start date and the end date. So just put in the start date and end date uh, of the uh, the stints that you had at each of your organizations. I put in a city and state, you know, it, just in case I ever wanted to do a map or something like that. Now you don't need this salary growth. I was just playing around. These are obviously not real numbers in here, but uh, you don't need this column. But then this is very important, tool tip. So this is what's gonna show up on your tool tip when you hover over the chart. So if I go in here, you can see General Motors, Data Analyst, Primary Technologies, so forth. And that is because you look in here, General Motors, I have this in the tool tip. So you wanna make sure you have that tool tip um, uh, filled out correctly. So that is the tool tip. Okay, next up, let's take a look at this skills tab. And this is gonna support the, uh, the abacus chart. So I just have a skill. I put the skill name in here. You'll see there's S SQL, Tableau Desktop, Excel, Power BI, Python. And then you see I have this split up between uh, what I'm calling self, right? This is kind of my self rating, 
um, with the skill level here. And then I have a LinkedIn, right? So these are my uh, endorsements, number of endorsements for items on LinkedIn. And I put in the max, so 51 is the number of um, endorsements that I have for business intelligence. So I put that as the max, just like I want to rate myself one through five on certain skills. So I put five as the max. So take a look at this right here. Uh, if this helps, this may help. And so this is how I set up my abacus chart. So you may want to do something, something similar. So now let's get into building out uh, the abacus chart and let's build out that uh, that timeline chart uh, as well okay so before we can start building out charts uh, I've made a uh, connection to Tableau resume which is a Microsoft uh, Excel file which I, I showed you earlier and I'm gonna drag in work and you'll notice hey this is uh, these are the um, uh, this is the data associated with the experiences that I showed you earlier, but I also need my skills in here as well. And so if I were to drag in skills, it's, I don't wanna join skills to anything. There really isn't anything to join on. What I want to do is union my skills and my work together, and you'll see what ends up happening. Tableau will take the skills and add additional columns onto the end of the, the work column. So these correspond to the work columns and there's nothing here. But when I union the skills in, I'll have data associated with new skills columns and Tableau will add these additional two columns here. You'll see I've got sheet skills, table name skills. And then these were the original work uh, columns over here and they have data. So all I've done is union the data instead of for those of you who are very good at SQL and, and no database, I'm not joining things together. I'm unioning the data together. So basically I'm adding, uh, I'm adding columns uh, to an initial set. So once you have this set up and what I can do, even though this is called uh, work right now, I can just call this um, here. Nope, I don't wanna, I don't wanna dig into there. I'm gonna go in here and just rename this and I can just call this uh, you know, Tableau resume, something like that. And so that will be the name, the logical name. And then when I dig in, work and skills are in here. Unions made up of two tables, work and skills. But you know, this is how I get started uh, before I build out any charts. You gotta make sure that your data is in the proper form. So go ahead uh, and do that if you want to follow along. Okay, so let's go ahead and build out an abacus chart for our skills, right? I know I got skills. How many, how many of you know that Shaquille O'Neal had a rap career in the 90s? I know I got skills, man. I know I got skills, right? Not, probably not many of you, but we're gonna build out, we're gonna build out our skills here in an abacus chart uh, format. So let's take uh, the skill name and I'm going to put that on the filter. And since this is skills, I only want to show, you know, Excel, Power BI, Python, SQL, Tableau Desktop. Everything else is from the uh, from our LinkedIn uh, endorsements. And I don't want to show null. So I'm just going to have that as a filter. So nothing uh, uh, shows up uh, that we don't want to show up. And then on the skill section, you know, I'm just gonna make sure that's self. Okay, so that's not the LinkedIn endorsements, it's just what I've rated myself. So let's make a placeholder in the column section. Let's call that 0.0, .0. Uh, it's just a placeholder. And then let's drag the skill level, skill level down here to columns as well. Great, and let's take our skill name uh, skill name and let's drag that to rows. So we end up with something like this at this point. So now in the marks card for our placeholder, I wanna make sure, and let's just change this to a Gantt bar. That's gonna be our, our line essentially. And so we stretch out the Gantt bar by dragging our skill max. So again, I rated myself one through five. So I take the skill max and put that on size for the Gantt bar. It's going to stretch out in this manner and I want to size that all the way down and I could change the color uh, on that maybe I should let's go ahead and change the color just some sort of gray right here that's good enough 
All right, so you see we have our, uh, our lines here for our abacus. And then also on the skill level, let's change this to a circle. Good. Um, we can size this up as appropriate. Let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to go entire view, right? And we can size this up as appropriate. Uh, how big do you want your circles? Okay, that's fine. And then let's take the uh, our measure names and put that on color. So that's going to be my skill level. I want to color that. So you can change the color to whatever you want. Obviously, you can edit that however you like, but that's how I have uh, my skill level. So how do we bring these two uh, charts together? Um, you know how we're going to do it. We're going to do a dual axis. So if I go up here and do a dual axis, there we go. See, that's how I get uh, my skills on the you know, giving us that abacus effect. I'm just going to size it up just a little bit more. And we probably need to, anytime you do dual axis, make sure that you synchronize the axes as well. So we're just going to synchronize those. And then I want to uh, do a sort here. So let's sort the skill name. Let's go sort by field. Uh, descending is fine, not by our placeholder, but by our skill, should be our skill level. And there we go. We get, we, that's the effect we're looking for. So there's my SQL skill level five, right? And I, I probably don't need anything uh, on the tooltip for my abacus. So I could, you know, probably just delete that and say, okay, that way I don't get anything strange showing up. It only shows up uh, when I select on my, my circles here for my skill level. So now it's just a, a matter of just formatting. So I don't have to show this header. Uh, I actually don't even need to show this header because on the dashboard, I float values here. So now let's just do one of these. Let's go ahead and format. And of course, I love formatting in Tableau. I think everyone does. Let's turn off the yeah, column dividers here. Let's do this. Uh, no, uh, none. All right. That didn't really do much. Let's go over here to our borders and let's turn. Let's go over here. Let's go to columns, start with columns, do none. All right, so that shut that off, that's good. Zero lines, none. There we go, so now we are nice and clean. We got a nice, clean abacus chart here, ready to throw on our dashboard. So if I go to my dashboard, you'll see, um, all I've done is I've thrown in that abacus chart here, and now I'm floating values. These are values that are floating. I just like that effect better than uh, putting them uh, to the extreme left over here. I like floating them on my dashboard, but that's that's all I've done. Obviously, I just made uh, some uh, some color changes as well, but um, that's that's how we do that. So if I go back, I can show you. Uh, there we go. So skills, this is the one that I pre-populated. It, it pretty much looks the same. I just have a, uh, a different color here in the in the background. So in any event, that's how you put together an abacus chart. Uh, go ahead and give that a try with your specific set of skills, uh, as Liam Neeson would say. So, all right, let's move on to building out our timeline. Okay, so let's go ahead and build out this professional timeline. And this is gonna be very similar. Uh, I have a video on how to build out a, uh, a Gantt chart in Tableau, also in Excel. But in Tableau, I have a very popular video on how to do that. And so you can check out that video if you wanna use that technique, if you have overlapping um, uh, timelines. But this Technique is going to assume that you don't have anything that's overlapping here. So let's go ahead and build this out to the filter shelf. I'm going to take my organization. And so this is going to apply just to me. You may not have to do this. Uh, I only want to show, so I'm going to select all. I don't want to show no. I don't want to show any of my education on here. I'm going to remove Clark Atlanta and I'm going to remove Syracuse. Actually, I'm going to keep Georgia Tech, right? I'm going to keep Georgia Tech. I'm going to say OK. Again, this is not something that you may need to do. This is how I need to set up um, for, for my data. And then let's go ahead and um, uh, move the start date. So our start date, let's put that on columns. So we end up uh, with something like that. But we want to change this to exact date. 
So there we go. It's continuous. And then we got the little timeline here. Great. And let's go ahead and change this to, um, let's change this to a Gantt bar just to make sure. I'm going to take the organization and bring that to color. And you'll see I already have my color set. You can go in here and obviously edit whatever colors you want. Uh, shout out to Georgia Tech here with the, uh, with the gold. So uh, I've already preset my colors. And then I'm going to edit a, uh, well, you're going to have to create a calculated field here. So uh, I have a calculated field and it's duration in days. So let me go over here. I'll show you the calculation. And what I'm doing here for my most recent title, um, you know, I just generically put consultant. I'm a senior manager, but I put consultant um, for my most recent title. I want to say today minus start date is the duration. And then for all other titles, we're going to take the end date that I specified minus the start date. That's going to be the duration. So obviously we're going to use this on size. So set that up. And then I'm going to take the duration in days and I'm going to put that on size. And that's how we fill things out, right? It's starting to look like a chart here. Let's go ahead and do entire view. And then let's go ahead and put this on a little diet here. Let's make this a little thinner, right? So it's not overwhelming. All right, that's that's good enough. Uh, a little bit more here. All right, good enough. So we have something like this. And so now we just need to get our tool tips right. I'm gonna bring in my title. I'm gonna bring my title into the, the detail here. And then my end date. I also want my end date. Uh, start date. All right. So sometimes when you can't, there we go. End date. Let's bring that onto tooltip. And then let's also bring tooltip, tooltip to tooltip. All right. All right. Love that search bar. Use it uh, whenever you can. And so this is not exactly how I want it formatted. So I'm going to go in here and first of all, I'm just going to flush all of that out. I know what I want. And so I'm just going to show you this. I'm going to cut and paste this in here and whatever weirdo font that is, let's go with uh, Calibri. And so you see, I've got organization, title, and then the tooltip. So if I say OK and go in here, you'll see it's nice and formatted the way that I have it uh, in the Excel data file that I've set up. So for each one of my positions, right, I've got the tooltip looking how I want it to look. All right. So that is good. And let's go ahead and uh, edit the axis here. Maybe I don't want to show uh, a two year interval. Let's go ahead and edit the axis. Uh, what I can do is make this a uh, five year uh, interval. So I can go to uh, tick marks over here and let's go to, what's it fixed? And let's try five, say okay, right? So that removes uh, some of the extra tick marks there. Uh, so that's good. I can add, I'm going to add a reference line. And so you can add multiple, but I'm just going to add a reference line to signify the end of my uh, graduate studies uh, at tech. So, all right, we've done that. So let's go up here. It's, well, yes, the, the value is going to be, um, let's see. Let's change that to, to constant. Okay, good. And then on the value, I'm going to change this to, again, this is going to be dependent upon what you want. Whoops. So I don't want one, one. I want seven. And it won't let me change that to, to seven, one here. Let's try this again. What if I just went over here to seven? There we go. One. And let's go 2008. That's what I want in my value. All right. So that's a constant. And in the label, I want custom. And I want this to say MBA. Oops, let's do all caps on that. MBA, say OK. So that puts a line here. And it says MBA, great. So that signifies uh, the end of my graduate studies. Now, I also do one for the, uh, the end of my uh, undergraduate. I'm just not showing. Uh, my my undergraduate here. So if I were to go back to show filter and say uh, Clark Atlanta University, you know, I'm just not showing it, but I can also put a line here to indicate 
uh, that that is that was the end of my undergraduate studies. And then also I have I could also put another line uh, somewhere in here to show when I graduated uh, from from Syracuse. I did that while I was working at the same time. So I don't show the school here. I would show here. Let me just stop talking about it and show you. Right. This is the finished product. I could put another line here um, for my my Syracuse education. And, you know, I would say MS information management. But this is what the finished product looks like. I'm not going to do all of the reference lines. I just wanted to show you I'm doing one for um, for the MBA here. So let's go ahead and format the reference line here if I can do that. So let's get in format. And uh, I want to change the shading color. Um, let's see shading. Right. I've got a I've got a color already in there. All right. That looks good. And the alignment I can do. Oops. Let's let's go top and then let's do that. All right. And then I could change this to a dotted line if I want to uh, as as well. So again, uh, in my final product, I, I just repeat that process. I put another line here and another line uh, here, just changing the dates the way that I uh, showed you. So it ends up looking something like that. So uh, in any event, this is um, a behind the scenes look at how to build out a Tableau uh, resume. So hopefully I've inspired you to go ahead, start that process and build out your own Tableau resume. Essentially, again, find some icons. I've shown you how to do, do the, uh, uh, the abacus charts here. Uh, you can do a little research uh, to, to figure out how to do this, uh, this image in uh, tooltip technique. And I've shown you how to do this timeline here. These are uh, pictures that I'm floating, or icons, uh, images, I should say, that I'm floating right next to those, um, to the reference lines. And, you know, bring it all together. Again, put your own little flair on it. Put your own, um, you know, perspectives and, and experience. Put that into an Excel file and show the world. Um, your experiences. So hopefully I've helped you accomplish that today. So uh, do me a favor, go ahead, uh, like this video, and then in the comments, put a link to your resume. I would love to see your personalized uh, resume. Put a link to it. Uh, I promise I'll take a look at it. So in any event, this has been uh, Anthony Smoke. Uh, get out there, do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching, everyone.